Last week we cut a slice off a length of pipe, which was very satisfying and left me with a steel ring. The plan is to turn this into a pulley wheel. Should be easy, right? It's nearly there, it just needs the fiddly bit in the middle. The pulley has to fit onto this shaft. It's a 35mm shaft, but if you cut a 35mm hole with a plasma cutter, it will usually be slightly too big or slightly too small, depending on things like the newness of the tip. So I'm starting by making some test holes in small squares of steel, experimenting with the drawing till I've found a snug fit. Good enough, isn't it? At the same time, we'll ground a key to fit in the keyway slot. I know you can buy hardened steel keys that would fit, <laughs> but that would be way too easy, wouldn't it? The test hole has a cutout to accommodate the key, so the final pulley won't be able to spin on the shaft, but instead is locked onto it. So now we're ready to fill the gap between the shaft and the rim. I could cut a full-size disc of steel with that test hole copied into the middle, or I could weld some spokes to bridge the gap. Of course, if you chose that option, you use fatter spokes than these and make sure the center hole stays right in the center. So you'd have to adjust as you go, but I'm choosing a middle way instead. I drew the full-size disc shape on the computer and then cut away some of it to leave spokes. Straight spokes were a bit boring. S-shaped ones are a bit too fussy, I think. So I settled for C-shaped ones. You could spend a long time playing with designs. How many spokes? How wide should they be? Odd number or even number? Tapered or straight? But as long as they don't unbalance the wheel, and as long as they give it enough strength, then I don't think it really matters. You could write your name in spokes if you wanted to. Luckily, I have a plasma cutter, but of course, you could do all this with a drill and an angle grinder. And here it is, although I cut two to make a stronger wheel. A little filing is all that was needed to give me the right fit on the shaft. And hitting it, <laughs> of course, with a hammer to seat it in the right place in the rim. I just tacked it in place with the welder. Will's the real welder, so I'll let him do a tidy job later. Normally the key is left unattached, but welding it to the discs means I don't have to have a stack of spaces between them. The pulley will still slide on and off, of course. Now the plan is to use this pulley to run a big chipping machine. So there's going to be quite a lot of thumping and banging going on. So I'm not taking any chances. That's why I'm putting this second disc in. Pretty solid now. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this, never made a pulley before. I'm going to try a flat belt on it to connect it to the big stationary engine in the field. But I'll try a V-belt too, see how that goes on. Watch this space! 